Hey stampers, it's Diane Dimmich with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Stampin' Up Stampin' Trimmer and some of its accessories that are now available. But I want to first talk about the personal cutter because it actually is it's an awesome little cutter. Um, it's it's lightweight, it's portable, um, it's got a wide base, six and a quarter inches is this wide big base with great numbers. It also has an extended ruler so that if you pull this out you can go all the way up to 14 and a half inches of cutting space. Um, which is great for your big, your bigger papers. Uh, it has an extra long cutting track, so it's actually longer than 12 inches, so your 12 by 12 paper fits in there fabulously. Uh, it has spot spaces at the bottom and the top of your cutter so that your, your cutting blade and your scoring blade are up, up and out of your way. And that, that is, this is it. This is the, um, this is the cutter and the lighter one is the score. So another thing it has, it has a great under here for storage. These pop open and you can store items in there. But it's a great little cutter for cutting and scoring. And so for instance, if I have a card, I'm going to cut at five and a half because that is your regular card size. And then I want to come in and score it at four and a quarter. Just line it up there and then use my score. And then it folds and looks fabulous. Pretty slick, pretty easy, um, and that's kind of your base for your cardstock. So you can also get replacements for your cutting blade when it, if it does get dull. But one of the recommendations Stampin' Up has is when you're using your cutting blade, you know, cut it back and forth, um, and that way you will dull your blade on both sides, and so it'll take twice as long for it to, to get dull. So this is just your basic Stampin' Trimmer. And then Stampin' Up! has available now a rotary cutter that goes with it. It looks like this. And this has a rotary blade down inside of it. It's very easy to fix. Um, oh, also the locking mechanism. So I can lock that down, and this isn't going to flip up when I travel with it. It's great to keep my cutter all in, to intact when I'm traveling. And then to pull the blade off, you're just going to unlock it and pull gently. On the one end here it pops out and then the other end will automatically pop out. And then you can pop in your rotary blade, rotary cutter, which is great too for cutting cardstock. And so you're just going to line up your cardstock where you want to cut it. I'll cut this at five inches. Well I can't because it's five inches. I'll cut this at four and a half. Pressing down and cutting and then you have your cut. Oops, one of the things you need to do when you do your rotary cutter is this is a cutting mat, a self-healing cutting mat here and it's got a groove in it for when you're using your regular cutter with it. When you change it out to the rotary you need to flip the cutter so that it's flat. And that actually is a self-healing mat and it makes the cutter work a lot better. If you end up with jagged edges it's probably because you haven't flipped this piece self-healing mat here. It's really important that you do that with with the rotary um, cutter. So the other great thing about this is that they have these little cartridges in here. It comes with a cartridge that is the rotary cutter, but you can get other cartridges. And these are just these are the, the few that we've got right now. Um, there's a large wave, a small wave, and a scoring, or not a scoring, uh, perforating. So there's a little grid on here for your finger, and you just slide that blade in there, grab a piece of paper, Cut it, and you've got a great, I hope you can see that. Let's try this on this green piece of cardstock. Anyway, there you go. Can you see it? The scalloped edge. And then, really easy to just, they just come right out. Pop another one in. This is the um, perforated. Line it up. Cut. And then you have a perforated edge, and if you can see where you can just fold on that and pull it off. Some people are saying if you just do this and only do it really lightly, it looks like stitching. And it does have a tendency to look like stitching. So there's just another way to use the perforated edge. And then the last one is a small scallop. Um, again, you want to make sure your fingers are on that grid part. Slide it in there. Put your cardstock in. Run it across. Oh, it is small. And you've got... I'm going to get close. And you see the little small edge? Little small scallop edge. So you've got your small scallop edge, excuse me, your larger scallop edge, and then your perforated edge. 
So that's the information on the stamp and trimmer. Um, it's great, gives you a lot of different options. And again, if you just use it as your regular stamp and trimmer with your cutting and scoring, that's good too. But if you want to go with some more cutting edges in the rotary cutter, we have that available too. So thank you and uh, have a great day.